The Boy in the Ford. It was September when the boy arrived, a sparkling late summer day, remnants of warmth tempting him to try me, knowing the showy girls and boys of midsummer would be gone, that I would be his alone. He leaps! Into Tass, gurgling down past the old grist mill, no longer visible, but evidenced in head race and tail race and deep mill pond under the chestnut. Barnard, Miles, Wakelin, Crane, Aldridge, Millers all using my merry body to turn the mill wheel until I swelled huge in winter 47, damaged it beyond repair and changing times meant demolish, not save. Leaps again, frisson of shock, delight, blood rushing, the river running in his body's tiny channels, meeting me, the earth's own veins, pulsing, flowing, pouring toward the sea. This place, home of egret, kingfisher, eel, dipper, roach and chub, all there to be greeted in quiet watchful moments while I sing and trill and hiss and burble, an old water dragon breathing my song of all that happens here. He leaves the water carrying with him my cool silken touch, the joy of entering and leaving satisfied by his daring do, happy and glowing with cocky prowess. In late October there is no one there but me to see the chestnut, gaudy with orange, gold and green, magnificent, standing by my water's edge, bearing the rope of summer still now till next year, the leaves drop like brittle tears, morning seasons end, sap pulling back, energy pulling down to meet the winter. In November, the man is there, gazing at me, full of memory and story of the place, making shy connection as he drops bread into me for the fish. He tells of another boy who jumped into me, who leapt. One, two, three, four, five, six... He's holding his breath. No, no, it's too long. Anxious cries from above. Others leap and find him broken necked. Gravel rusting his cheek. His spirit is here, captured by me, held down among the weed and in between the stones and in the sorrowing leaves of the watchful chestnut, he remains immersed. In December, I am in winter flood, the road impassable, none dare enter here. Now my power can be seen and felt, no longer hidden in the balmy sun's benign sparkle, but full force flood charging through. The dragon roars and groans his tale of the boy in the ford. Listen.
a deep bed of snowdrops, blooms in withered reed, mounding an old tale of dark jealousy. The breastbone by the miller's pond keens the lament of one drowned wet. White flowers mark the one drowned dry.